Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Thursday, August 22nd, our scripture is found in the 24th chapter of Joshua, verses 1 through 2a, and then 14 through 18. Then Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Seshem, and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel, and they presented and fell for God. And Joshua said to all the people, Now therefore revere the Lord, and serve Him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. Now if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served in the region, beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, and who did need those great signs in our sight. He protected us along all the way that we went among all the people through whom we pass. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples, the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. Serve the Lord. As for me, my household, will, we will serve the Lord. Verse 15. Go in peace serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though the worshiping assembly and I as a pastor exchange those words every week as people slip on their coats and gather their glasses to be ready to go out into the world. I hadn't given them much thought. I mean, I knew what the words meant, what they sounded like in the ear, and how they felt on the tongue. Yet, I hadn't really considered what impact they had, what they work in us when they are heard and spoken, until my eight-year-old daughter met the, me in the space between the sanctuary and the narthex, where refreshments were shared. Go in peace, Daddy, she said, and serve the Lord. My eyes widened and a smile came over my face. Aren't you supposed to say something, she asked. I took off my pastor's stole, draped it over her shoulders. Let's say it together. Her hands ran down the stole as far as she could reach. She beamed, thanks be to God. And at that moment, I agreed. Our prayer. Lead us into the wonder of your presence, God, and work among us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.